Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Live from Super Soul Farm, this is Wisdom of the Sages, a daily spiritual podcast that makes ancient wisdom relevant today with your host, Raghunath, and co-host and senior educator at the Bhakti Center in New York, Kastuba Das. Welcome to the show. This is episode 1336. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Walk on Wednesday today. But before we bring on our special guest, we always have a little 10-minute guest on a Walk on Wednesday. But before we do that, we have some you announcements. Yes, yep. Mary. Uh, Wisdom of the Sages is heading west, and we're holding a retreat for the LA Rathiatra of Veda Yoga in Los Angeles, August 2nd through 4th. And you can register on the website, wisdomofthesages.com, to register. Mm-hmm. Also, we have our Back to Your Cover group meetings today at 1 and 9 30 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay. All righty. Yeah. And we're excited. We're getting geared up. We are in Jagannath consciousness here at the uh, Super Soul oh, Jagannath consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I was I was feeling a little uh, Villa Vrindavan Tuscany consciousness this morning. We're gonna, oh yeah, because I was. You know what I was remembering is uh, trying to figure out the difference between a Stromboli and a Calzone. No, no, it had nothing to do with that. It was. Um, I was just thinking. You know, the mornings are so nice there. There's that kind of. Uh, I don't know if you call it a patio or something, but that big area off that comes off of that one. You know, room where we have all our get togethers and oh, yeah. you can sit there and watch the sun rise above the hills of Tuscany. It's like, it's just scenic and perfect it's as it gets. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. It's like the most breathtaking thing you've ever, especially for an American, like the nicest thing we've ever seen is some <laughs> big McMansion on the Hudson river or something like that. But yeah. it's just like a massive palace. Oh, turned into an, and there's happens to be a temple, no, but it's not the, on the palace. I'm, it's not the pal- it's the sunrise I'm talking about. I know, but it's the vantage point. And that's okay. how these people built with this type of Vastu. Oh, yeah. That's brain. Right. Like, we're going to set it here, and it's going to overlook that, and it's going to face this direction. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. I, I'm, I think this year I'm going to just chant there every morning as the sun rises and invite other people to come, and we'll make it like a real serious Joppa session, you know? Oh, you're going to selectively invite people. Not selectively. Going. <laughs> no, who said invite selectively? A few people start a little. <laughs> who anti, said selectively? Anti Raganoff team. <laughs> oh, yeah, now it's about, <laughs> now it's an anti you thing. <laughs> That's how the mind works, though, isn't it? It's just like. Mm. Right. But he's out to get me. <laughs> Actually, that's going to be kind of like part of this, what we're talking about today. How we, how we think other people are enemies when it's just like it's really just in the mind, you know. It's oftentimes the more I think about it, it's like no one's even thinking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, before we move any further, let's bring on our our good friend Jai Shri Triolo. Jai Shri, Jai Shri, welcome back to the show. How are you? Thank you. Jai Shri creates these uh, incredible kabachas, um, which, you know, a lot of us see and wear around our neck and they hold uh, sacred. Sometimes you put sacred uh, dust from the holy places. Um, sometimes people put um, dust from Gold on Hill, dust mantras. from Vrindavan. Sometimes mantras are, uh, you know, what? anyway, go on. What? <laughs> well, I once read some. Raghu, thank you. Thank you for the plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to plug it more completely. But... No, I, <laughs> but I, I just yeah. want to share that Jai Shri, like beyond that, like she's like a real got the service attitude, you know. I remember when we had that uh chant camp uh retreats up there up in Northern California, and she would be running the show and doing all that background hard work, you know. Yeah, it's, it's devotees like her that really get the blessings. She's a dedicated devotee for many, many years, many, many years. And uh, I'm an other, I'm an other, I'm a super fan of wisdom of the sages. And uh, I really appreciate you guys so much. Yeah. You know, last time I talked, people always say, yeah, I'm an other. And to me that they, yeah, they've heard it once, but you actually listen to it a lot, don't you? All the time. And I share it and I re-listen to, to episodes and 
when I hear one that's super relevant to a friend's life, I'll share that episode, whether a devotee or not. That. And yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and the I way to do it, right? You share your with... Those are your beautiful paintings in the back, aren't they? Of your horses. <laughs> Did you paint yeah, those? I love horses. Did you paint those? I'm working on them. I'm working on a horse series. They're creative. You, you could stop right now. They look done. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So um, uh, quickly, uh, we want to hear about your covetous and we want to have everybody who's listening follow you on Instagram. What is your I, Instagram? You're an artist that creates jewelry. I would appreciate that so much. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me even share about it. I moved into the ashram when I was 18 years old and I got a kavacha in the gift shop at New Vrindavan and I, and I wore Vrindavan dust for years and I would always get compliments. And I started collecting amulets from all different spiritual traditions for like 35 years. Hmm. And about hmm. six years ago, I asked uh, Bhakti Bodhaya Maharaj for his blessings. And I just started creating heirloom quality casted amulets and the most beautiful part about the whole thing is that in the West, non-devotees, their, their desire to have one is to put loved one's ashes. And now that I have become a widow and I'm on this journey of grief and understanding mm -hmm. that relationship, it opens up every conversation I have with somebody. It starts with Krishna consciousness, devotee, non-devotee, and it's just dovetailed my spiritual life into this passion that I have about creating kavachas. So how did you learn how to make them so that. nice? I mean, they look really, I designed them like I storyboard them drawings, and then they're created in a 3d rendering program. And then each kavacha is cast from an original 3d print. And there's a, there's a gasket in there that makes them really tight. So people can, they won't get wet. If someone writes a mantra, they're New technology kind of next, level, next level next level it's, it's new technology coverage and we're not yeah it's like i say it's a modern we weren't ready for that tradition. answer Kostuba. no i was You're expecting like, well, like i don't I, know she probably chips it with a little hammer and chisel <laughs> no i thought you were gonna say i learned from this jeweler or something like that but no okay this is yeah, like this is uh, how they do it now and they're beautiful and they're well, beautiful how on I the do next it. level that's how I do it. And I don't, I don't know anybody else that's making them the way that I'm making them. I'm sure now that I've exposed my secret. <laughs> no, I'm going to make, them, make them themselves now. Now. Off yeah. <laughs> um, I will say they are ones that you would want to like give to your, children. you know, people pass down jewelry or people pass down heirloom They're actually quality. quite beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I just know from my experience of having ones I bought at Louis Bazaar, the end caps have fallen off. All my end caps are attached to the chain yes, yes. and the end caps <laughs> fall off or I've had some tested and there's been lead in them. And they're just not, you know, of course, okay, there's this is where you want to go. This is where you want to go. go. <laughs> anyway, we like to support devotees who are doing cool things with their life. And we like devotees who like dedicated their lives to spreading the holy name and painting horses. So we wanted to support you. <laughs> We're looking for Thank other you. people who paint horses and have given their life to Krishna also out there. Um, but uh, what is your, oh, you put on the board. It's kavachadesigns.com. Kavacha mm -hmm. And the Instagram is called Kavacha Designs. K-A-G-A-C-H-A -A Designs. So um, I want everybody right now listening on Zoom, you're going to at least get, um, you know, about, 80 followers right now follow and wos 30 for 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 three days wos 30 for three days 30 percent off well that's the code Ooh. three days oh, i didn't know that i didn't know that <laughs> wots 30 no, just wos oh wos oh, wisdom yeah, gonna, of sages wots okay it's 30. like how a caveman would say wots wisdom of sages yeah. <laughs> I'll put the code in there after the morning um, podcast. Uh, well, all right. Well, um, anyway, that's beautiful. Um, and uh, everybody check that out. Thanks for joining the show. Thanks for continuing to listen to the show. It was great seeing you when I did my uh, San Francisco stuff up there. Um, yeah. She's a, uh, she's great friends with Ram Das, who's running the, uh, or the publishing that I saw Ram Das the other day. Oh, in New York. He was at the Ratiatra, wasn't he? Uh, not well. Ratiatra hasn't happened yet, but there was another event uh, that he was at for Bhakti Siddhanta. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what that but was. Maybe we'll see him. 
but um, we're gonna we're gonna see you again because I think we're gonna come up there after the LA Roth Theatre. Perhaps you should come to LA Roth Theatre. Join us. I just made uh-huh. a note the retreat, the second to the fourth. Get on your horse and ride on down there. <laughs> My motorcycle, Vaishnav motorcycle, motorcycle horse. club. Let's do that. <laughs> Try to get my one. daughter to join before she joins another motorcycle gang. <laughs> there is one. There's the Vaishnav. I know. I, I know. I'm trying to get her to join the Vaishnav motorcycle gang before she joins a real motorcycle gang. There you go. Anyway, thanks for joining us and thanks for all the support. And we love you and we love what you're doing. Thank you. And um, love to your family. And uh, we love you and we've got your back. We know you go th- you're go. you still going through some grief of your loss of your husband. Mm. And um, he was a special, special devotee person. Yeah. 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 And um, yeah, you got a great thing going up there and a great community. And I want to get back up there soon. OK. In okay. Northern California. Yeah. All right, Prabhu. Harry Bull. Harry Bull. Jai Shri Chiyo. Nice to talk to Jai Shri again. I love she's, Jai Shri. She's, she's so special. Cool. Yeah. She says she loves my squirrels. Last time I talked to her. Oh. <laughs> it was one of those things where, like, it, I was saying <laughs> something like, "Remember, people walked, drove horses yeah. around, and we forget about it. People actually drove horses." And you were like, "You were, you didn't even look at me because you just went." Well, you see, Ragnar, there's it's almost art. like your screen is frozen. There's an art to the squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel, even if even if the squirrel strays from the topic. Ultimately, it has to enhance the topic. But if Does you it? push the squirrel too far, <laughs> it, it, it destroys everything. That Next squirrel time I will, squirrel, that squirrel will eat Stuba's up the entire face. show. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> Stuba sometimes goes to like the frozen screen where I think well, he's no. frozen. Well, the reason I do that, Ragnar, is because you feed off of the tension. Like if I say, hey, stop <laughs> that, that just makes you more excited. <laughs> and so that's like pouring gas on a fire to put it out so i've learned that i just had to withdraw it's kind of like you have to cut off the air to it it's like it's like what radna swami does when i speak of something yeah, mundane just, he, gives he just look, goes look, gives look, me that look like yeah it looks all no response ow, ow. and then you know he blew it he blew it all right listen I've got a nugget for you. But first of all, I, I want to say I'm, I feel better today. I was really sick yesterday. Yeah. Miraculously, I think the show cured me. No doubt. No doubt. I w- remember before the show, before we got on, on Zoom. Yeah. Um, I, I was telling the Zoom people, I was like, I'm really out of it. I'm You're in a fetal position couch. over this. I was in fetal position on the couch. And then we did that show. We talked about Lord Jagannath. I feel like I transcended my body. Lord Jagannath entered my heart. Something happened. Wow. So it was like a like you're the Jagat Guru now. You know what? what? <laughs> you know what? Let me share you know something what? with you. I think let me, maybe. Let me, you know what? Let <laughs> let me share something with everybody in the audience today, and I think this is very very important. Share I did, with the entire universe. I was right on now. a slippery slope last night. Oh. I went to Facebook Marketplace, and uh, well, no, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to get to get stuff that you need. I don't even know about. I that. like Facebook Marketplace. It's like it's like a Craigslist without murderers, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know they're at murder or something? No, maybe they are, but at least you could track them to a face or, a, you know. Yeah, I'm sure it's their accurate face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Roganoth gets sucked into. <laughs> no, you know what I've done. Plot. I'm over Facebook in general. But I happened to go on to some Vaishnava. I wanted to, well, I was like, oh, let's check Facebook because I've got a lot of messages I never check on Facebook. Um, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm looking at, you know, devotees that I'm friends with hosting things and people just getting into disgruntled arguments I about Krishna consciousness. That I'm, I, as a devotee, I'm like, don't you guys understand? Don't you guys listen to Brisbane Sages? Don't you guys, <laughs> don't you, haven't you don't not you guys, heard like, my message to Lord of love? Chaitanya? Don't you understand? You can't criticize people. You can't criticize devotees. It's like the worst thing you could do for your spiritual life. Oh. Even if you're, don't you guys understand? Like things don't happen to you. They happen for you. I can't believe you're sitting in a pool of bitterness. Like I'm 20 years bitter about this. But, I was like, have these guys walked away with nothing from Krishna consciousness? You, you know, I heard Rogan, I'm I, I, was, shocked. I gotta go back and listen to this again. But just this morning I was listening to uh, a lecture 
So fascinating. Bhakti Vigyan Maharaj. Who's like this genius, right? Who? who? Bhakti Vigyan Maharaj. Oh my Russian, God, he's a genius. Russian He's one genius. of these super geniuses. Super genius. They're like, they've got intelligence and they know everything about everything. Bhakti like, Vigyan Goswami Maharaj. How did you learn all super this? Super genius. <laughs> so, and, and very, very wonderful Vaishnava. You know, very good. Sweet devotee. Vaishnava. He's building up. He's building an project. ecological paradise at Govardhan Hill. I know it's crazy. It's like my dream come true with his other genius disciples. Like, with his genius <laughs> disciples, it's, it's like I never. The Russian people. I need a new circle of friends. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> sorry, Raghu. Sorry to let you down. Um, but he was speaking, and I had to go back and listen because it was all scientific and everything. But he was just, but he was using like Western science and combining it with Eastern oh, yogic I, teachings. Yeah. But, but he was saying that um, he was described, it was all about emotions okay. and, and, and using the Western analysis of what's happening in the body with emotions. Oh, interesting. And tying that into, you know, the, the bhakti understanding of emotion. like in bhakti, the idea is that it said, Rogana, that when you chant Krishna's name, yeah. if you're in the healthy state of awareness, you begin to cry. Mm -hmm. right? Your heart is so soft. Just Krishna's name is so sweet and attractive that when you think of Krishna, you just, you, you, you choke up and tears pour from your eyes. That's where we want to get with that's where we're in a healthy spot that, that means that means you're capable of relishing the deepest emotions of love that's that's how that's, powerful the name is but we have to have clear consciousness clear exactly. conscience okay pure, pure heart now you're negative right, you should be bawling right now well now hold on hold on slow down right now. <laughs> let me get this out because okay. it's not easy to get this out i, I just heard okay. it okay. i was doing my asana i wasn't fully concentrated i gotta go back i gotta hear it again um, but he was saying that if you take negative, just going, that's spiritual emotion. Mm -hmm. But if you take it just on the level of material emotion, the studies show that, you know, that like when you feel positive emotions, happiness, gratitude, et cetera, et cetera, your body kind of expands and there's an opening that you know, there's actually, you know, we may say like, open up your heart, but actually the heart does open, <laughs> you know? And when you get these negative emotions of, uh, anxiety or fear or anger yeah you you kind of shrink up and you tighten up i mean you feel it someone like comes you, up to get someone comes up to you gives you a big hug hey how are you doing i really it. miss you, you feel right it. yes and then someone uh someone someone just like uh says something horrible you, you read a comment on your book you tighten up you shrink you go to amazon read a comment in your book that's not positive oh has that happened Actually, it hasn't yet. Okay. <laughs> no, no one think about doing it. <laughs> so, so, um, so, so in, when we, the, the, the devotee is very conscious that I want this heart opening vibrations moving through my body. He was saying that we can't just artificially begin to feel these emotions, these deep spiritual emotions, but what we can work on the kind of in between the material emotion, negative emotions and the full on spiritual positive emotions yeah. is the, is the, the emotion of gratitude. Yeah. The attitude of gratitude. That's something that we can, we can focus on. And that attitude of gratitude is going to kind of open us up. We really need to be careful. And so when you, if you're a bhakti yogi and you're trying to light the fire of bhakti in your heart so that your heart melts, when you get in, when you get on Facebook and start writing that crap, even though you think you're right, you really think you're defending the Sampradaya, you're all that stuff. <laughs> you're just pouring water right on that fire. And, and you're just, you're just damaging your own yeah. uh, possibility, you know, of, of becoming a soft hearted Vaishnava. That that's the goal of our I practice. read about five comments and I felt like, I need to take a shower. I need to bathe in the boundaries <laughs> after like reading that. Go jump in your, your pond over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Never read offensive things. Oh, Never let them into your consciousness. Yeah. Especially if you have no control of what you can do about it in a certain way. We, yeah. and it doesn't mean we should stick our head in the sand. But we always want to police everything. You like we have, like we can... It's the same way I feel about uh, crime and stuff like that. 
There's some people, they're like crime detectives, murder detectives. They, 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 they solve like horrible murders and that's their job. And they got to look into it and they got to study the mind of murderers and psychopaths and things like that. Go deep into it. They got to get deep into it to figure these things out. I don't have to do that. That's not my job. <laughs> Therefore, I need not study the lives of Charles Manson and all these ser- people like love to read books about serial killers. That's like the worst you can do for your consciousness. What about children that kill. You don't need to put that in your mind. <laughs> All right. You know, let's leave that to the professionals. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> How are we? We already have problems sleeping at night at our age. Uh, people are asking for a link to that. Uh, I'm going to find it. I'm going to try to find it. Hopefully I still got it. Oh, to Bhakti Vigyan Goswami? Yeah. I, I think if you go to YouTube and you, you Google Bhakti Vigyan Goswami and emotions, you'll probably get it. I think it was called like chanting Hare Krishna and emotions. Maybe we'll take everybody to meet him when we go to Govardhan this year. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's such a beautiful, refined gentleman. They're, 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 oh, there's, here, there's people that. that I meet that I go, like, I will never be as good as you. <laughs> I meet people like that. You're like, you're like on such a better happen? level of human species. How did you get there? <laughs> Do I have to <laughs> die and take birth again? <laughs> And then we know the answer is yes. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna Steve, I'm it. starting to sympathize with you. In the old, remember the old days when I used to just, we, me and Kostuba used to share room in India and he'd be like, why? He has a whole, Kostuba has a whole going to bed ritual. I do like, not. Don't, don't, don't start making stuff up. Self massage myself with slip- lavender I'm under my nose. Oh God, what are you talking about? <laughs> Lavender Read pillow, a little Krishna book. Pillow. <laughs> Read a little Krishna book. Do some marma on my feet. Wind down. And then once he's ready, laying into bed, I would burst in the door and just go, I just got from Bunky Bihari, mind you. It was crazy. And they threw colors and they got some Prashant. And I'd wake him completely up. He'd be up again. And I'd go to, I'd lay on my bed and fall asleep immediately. I well, know. guess what? There's a new rock in the next hour. And he's, there's a new Raghunath. And sometimes right. it's now when my body's like, I, I got like two things going on. I got my body's like, it is time to go to bed right now. And then I've got my mind going, yeah, let's go to bed right now. And I'll lay down on the bed. And then my mind's like, let's think about every fearful thing in the universe that could happen to you and the people that you love. Ever have that? Like, as soon as you lay down, your body's like, no, I'm out. And the mind is going, I'm going to think about uh, what if someone breaks into the house? How are you going to, what if someone, what if our country goes to war? What about the Chinese? What about zombies? What about, you know, everything aliens invading Brother it just not. goes on and on and on Brother Think not. About <laughs> it's not necessary i know like i pull it back <laughs> that's not what's going on in my mind when i'm trying to sleep it's nothing like that <laughs> it's just i can't sleep <laughs> i'm <laughs> <laughs> you don't think about people breaking into your house no not at all okay yeah okay yeah. <laughs> It's the last thing on my mind. That's like a regular one for me. No, before I go to sleep, I like lock the door. Then I go. <laughs> well, it. I guess you've got one entrance. You got one entrance. Oh, I, got I got windows. Doors here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let's get into this. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. That was a squirrel. A big one. Shana Garishi says, "I go to bed every night wondering if I'll die." Okay, thank you. <laughs> wake up. Maybe thank you for that up. validation. Oh man, we have a nugget still. Yeah, I think this nugget, let's hit it. Let's no, you know, let's wrap this nugget into the show. It's going to wrap it naturally. Hit the nugget. We'll read it and we'll get right into the show. It's from the Reverend Dr. Can I defy you? (laughs) Can I defy you? I have permission to defy you. Well, now if you do, you're you're blocking Dr. Martin Luther King. And that's the kind of thing that can get someone canceled. (laughs) So I think you better read it. I've been canceled and I bounce back. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right, here's a nugget today from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. What kind of doctor was he? Can someone put, look up that and put it on the board? What's that? What kind of doctor was he? Well, you know, he had a PhD probably in. Oh, he wasn't like. Theology a, or something? Mara, look that up. What kind of doctor was he? He, 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 he wasn't like a surgeon. Look that up, please. No, he they was not have a changed surgeon. the name. They should give doctors who work on your health and well, wellness. He was a reverend, so he was studying uh, theology. Into your body. Well, what makes you a reverend? Can I be a reverend? 
I read <laughs> spiritual things every day. People have to revere you. I'm, oh, interesting. Reverend. If you want to be a real reverend, not no, just a name. Maybe it just means they're reverential. Well, not, it's not that, that you're revered. First. No, the, the reverend, I, I think the reverend. I'm serious. Why shouldn't I put that in my bio? Raghunath is a reverend. Part-time botanist. Why? Because it's another squirrel. Let's read the nugget. Martin Luther King pursued his doctoral studies in systematic theology at there Boston University's graduate school. You yeah, willing to do that, Rogu? Are you willing to do that? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, then you're not a reverend. <laughs> well, that makes him a doctor, sir. That doesn't oh, make okay. a reverend. Okay, you're not a doctor either. Look up what makes a reverend a reverend. You want to be both a doctor and a reverend. I don't want to be a doctor. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that doctors... Where is the note? Where? I'm saying that doctors should be able to heal a person if they're sick. There's different types of doctors. I know, that's what I'm saying. They, Let's they've done a doctorate. Change a name. Give them okay. some other name. Breed the Wisdom of the, okay. Uh, <laughs> in order to love your enemies, you must begin by analyzing yourself. Think about that. Counterintuitive again. Is it not? Yeah. It, are you thinking about it or are you just- I am thinking it? about it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, because like, for instance, let's say someone gets, here's the message. We should really learn to love our enemies. And we think, oh yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Mm -hmm. Then our first inclination may be, let me look in them to try to understand why they should be loved. <laughs> you know, like, you know, okay, I'm seeing a lot of the issues with my enemies. Is there something there that's lovable? And we, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, but well, I think the Dr. Martin Luther King's uh, method here is a bit more profound. It really has something to do with finding something in myself, finding my own nature. And when I realize something about my own nature, I'm going to realize something about the nature of everyone. Well, it's my three jerks in a day theory. Like if it's 10 o'clock in the morning and meet some guy who's a jerk and it's like, oh God, I can't believe the universe sent this guy to be a jerk to me. Then at, at like one o'clock, you meet another jerk. Like some guy comes in, total jerk. Four o'clock, you meet another jerk. If you're meeting three jerks in a day, you might you're be the, the jerk. jerk. You're the jerk. So it's one of these things like the, to the degree, it says more about me when I start what it says more about me, if I'm finding fault in people, when I hear someone come up to me and they're just complaining about somebody, I don't listen to the person they're complaining about. I often, often listen. I was like, what's up with this guy that he can't deal with this person in a healthy way. Yeah. He can't, that is on his mind and he's carrying it with him. And we do this a lot in the course of a day. We do this a lot with people in general, but we do this a lot with people from the past. And we, it, the question arises like, how much can I let my past influence my future? And it's a huge thing for this whole practice that we're going through, that this releasing of resentment and not carrying it around in the heart. Same thing we're talking about. You're yeah, shrivel it's gonna, up. It's going to free, you're, you're going to, you're going to close up. And man, that was a Christian miracle that I brought that up on Facebook today. It's exactly what you're talking about. We we shrivel up. Well, we I brought hardened. it up because you brought that thing up. Right no, up. I brought it up. No, I you brought, brought up Facebook and I responded. randomly, but it, you were like this. You were saying this ties into everything that we're doing. Okay. I didn't even read the nugget today. <laughs> I wasn't feeling well, and I slept in. Remember? Okay, okay. But uh, this this is huge. And how much will we let the hurt of the past hurt our future? We have to just choose or the and paranoia. decide. That is over. Yeah. It, 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 I find it very fascinating when it happens to people who are devotees too. And because they all have a story, not all of them, obviously, not every devotee, you, you know, I don't feel that way, but everybody's got a story of a past, a past hurt, a past, past mistreatment, a past dysfunction, a perhaps past a, tra trauma. a crazy Joe Davola out there. Yeah. There's some of that, that hurt them. It's coming after and, them irrationally, even. And, and, and we can't assimilate it into how this is going to help me grow. And therefore, I put it in my category of spite, revenge and resentment. And that is, you know, just pushing the disease down into the body more and more and more. And it's not going to help me and we can't grow. And it's going to be a low ceiling to our spiritual evolution. 
with all of us who are new to bhakti or people who have been practicing bhakti for 40 years. We got to uproot and you see it. These are like the ABCs of spiritual life. Mm -hmm. We never get over this stuff. A lot mm -hmm. of times devotees think to become evolved in spiritual life, you have to talk about so many esoteric topics. You don't. First of all, you got to talk about these very basic topics of freeing yourself from resentment and anger and holding on to something from the past. And if you don't deal with that stuff, I don't want to hear anything about your evolved ideas you of like Radha and Krishna and the gopis. I don't want to hear about it. You sound like you resent them right now. Right? You resent those guys. <laughs> 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 oh good no that's good no uh, thank you for delivering that, it, it, that goes right back to what you were saying you want to chant the holy name and you want to cry yeah. you can't do that if you hate your father you're all shriveled you up right you can't do that if you're holding on to anger of in the workplace you can't do it's it there's two there's two categories of people you get angry at and one is on a day-to-day -day basis those ones very quickly you got to practice you feel something, you got to let it go immediately, free that immediately. And the older ones, which are almost like trees that have been in the ground for a while, saplings that grow up, if you let them grow too much, you can't weed them out. So you got to go back and you got to do some serious work to get over old resentments. And after 20 years of telling the same story of your hurt, because that's what we do, we endorse our story of how we are hurt. We want the whole world to know and sort of like stroke us. You're OK. It's going to be OK. And what that does is it makes our pain story, our our trauma story, it, it, it makes that into concrete. And that takes a lot to melt that and to understand forgiveness. And this is all happening for my evolution. And God is not trying to strike you down or the universe is not against you and and um this is the only way, even in Western therapy, they say you, you got to forgive. You got to you got to learn to forgive. Thank you, Raghun. Thank you. Whew. For being you. I, got I forgive up. you. I, I forgive I was, you. I'm sweating. Raghunath, I forgive you. <laughs> you ever have people say that to you? I forgive you. Like, for what? <laughs> you forgive me. You were the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had a guy that ripped me off of so much money once and he called me up once he goes you know I've been doing a lot of inner work and I just want you to know I forgive you I was like I'm gonna kick your butt next time I see you <laughs> okay Ruggan, let's get into Bhagavatam now because okay, this is all going to tell you the uh, next stage next mm, stage man I screamed my voice out the other day on stage and now it's hard for me to talk home okay. Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tatojayam Indirayat. Before we start in the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is our very means of conquest? One should offer respectful obeisances to the Supreme Lord Narayan. Unto Narayan Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and to Srila Vyasadeva, the author. Nasta Prayeshva Badreshu Nityam Bhagavat Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloki Bhakti Ravati Naishtaki. By regular attendance in classes on the Bhagavatam and by rendering service to the pure devotees, all that is troublesome to the heart will become eradicated. In loving service to the Supreme Lord, who is praised with transcendental songs, will be established as an irrevocable fact. Om Gyanat Tamarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Madhutam Yena Tazmae Shri Gudavaita Maha. I was born in the darkness of ignorance, and my teachers are opening my eyes. With the torchlight of knowledge, I offer my obeisances at their lotus feet. These are expressions of, these are med gratitude meditations. Mm -hmm. Aren't they? Are they not? It's all gratitude. It's all gratitude. They're not just. It opens you up. Functory. Yeah, it's not just like sappy new age stuff to say, you know, the heart opens when you feel this gratitude. My heart chakra opens for you, Kustin. <laughs> so now we hear Bhagavatam with a, it, we can't rush through those, Rogo. Nope. You got to keep us. You, this is your duty, Rogo, because you chant those. You want a day. dramatic reading? I can not give necessarily you dramatic, dramatic but but like a uh, uh, a mindful, yeah, reading of those yeah. recitation, mindful recitation. Can you do that for us? Yes, I can. 
I do it every day. You're just not listening. Yeah, I, for, I forgive you. <laughs> I, forgive you're not, for, I think you should listen with more. <laughs> I think you're not listening. Uh, you've been, you've been speeding through those for 1,336 episodes. I forgive you. Okay. <laughs> you misunderstood me. And I, I want you to know I forgive you. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's hear what, what's going on. It's like on. forgiveness arrogance, isn't it? It's another way of uh, <laughs> being right. Uh, what do they call it? Passive aggressive. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's let's hear what uh, Lord Brahma. Uh, whenever Mara agrees with you about something, I take it personally. Oh, you do. I know. <laughs> yeah. Like as soon as she said, when, if you say anything and she goes, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like she's in trouble after the show. <laughs> you don't realize how often it happens because I can always see her right there. You're, you're not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, sure, sure. This show is getting too silly today. Let's bring it to the bog with Tom. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I forgive text, you. Uh, reading from the Shumad Bhagavatam, Canto 7, Chapter 10, Text 30. Okay, this, this is, is Lord Brahma speaking, right? Oh, no, no, now, no, this now is Lord Nishringadev's coming Nishringadev's back. Nishringadev's speaking. He's speaking to Brahma. Yeah. Wouldn't you love to just be a fly on the wall watching oh. Lord Nishringadev talk to Brahma? I would love to see what Brahma looked like. Well, they just said he was shining, right? Like his face was shining or some bright yeah, I got face. a feeling he's so bright, oh. you can't even see him. Whew, I would love to see him. I would love to see him. Well, Krishna gives you what you want. My dear Lord Brahma. Oh, great Lord from the lotus flower, right? Because he grew on the from lotus, lotus flower. flower from the belly button. Who can make this up? From the belly button of Lord Vishnu. Uh, my dear Lord Brahma, oh, great Lord, born of the lotus flower, just at, as it is dangerous to feed milk to a snake, right? Because that makes a poisonous snake healthy, they say. To feed you venomous. This is, right? As, as it's dangerous to feed milk to a snake. This is a common analogy. So it is dangerous... To give benedictions to demons. Okay, so like another animal might actually become appeased and become like tamed through your feeding it, but the snake, no. Sure. Who are by nature ferocious and jealous. The, oh, the demons, yeah, by nature. Mm. I warn you not to give such benedictions to any demon again. They're naughty by nature. Just let them go. <laughs> They're naughty by nature. <laughs> I met naughty by nature. Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, I met naughty by nature. Did you know that? Yeah, Tretch. From, there's a picture of me and Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Okay. Yeah. You should have put it in the books. But I should have. Man. <laughs> Someone Google YouTube, Google image search if you could find Ray Capo and Tretch from Naughty by Nature. It should be up there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Um, I also met I also met Salt and Peppa. <laughs> Raghunath, we got to keep this move now. We're going to go from Sage Level Four to Sage Level Three here, Raghunath. Okay, no one knows what that means, but sure. Um, Narada Muni continued. He's the narrator. Yeah, because okay. do we do you remember when this all started? I think it was Chapter One of the Seventh Canto, where Yudhishthira was saying, "It seems like like the Lord is." Uh, partial and and that's how these stories you know there's the whole thing about shishapal merging into the body and and all yeah. of that and then what about this story with prahlad and hiranyakashipu and we heard the whole thing so now narda now we're back to to narda speaking to king yudhishthir yeah okay narda muni continued oh king yudhishthir the supreme personality of godhead who is not visible to an ordinary human being spoke in this way, instructing Lord Brahma. Then being worshipped by Brahma, the Lord disappeared from that place. He's not, he's not visible to an ordinary living being. Although people say, well, if I don't believe, if I don't see him, I won't believe. Yeah, well, you become extraordinary, then you can see him. There That's what are. it is. He, he can be visible. He can show himself. But as we read in these stories, it's extraordinary people that become quite, that makes sense. All right. It, it, if, if I want to go to like the White House and I want to go to the, if I want to breakfast with whoever the standing president is or if there's some leader of a country, I have to become extraordinary to get that invitation. We're gonna, you can't just, I, I just can't barge in. I agree 100 percent with what you're saying, but I sense a little resentment in your tone. Just a little. And that's not true. 
Let it no go. Reason. You, you think it, you, you think I'm resentful that they won't have me for breakfast in the White House? <laughs> By the way, I taught yoga on the White House lawn when yeah, Obama but you didn't got, get uh, inside, did you? No, but I waved to him. <laughs> okay, I waved to him. He could see me. <laughs> all right. Okay. Pearl Maharaj right. then worshipped and offered prayers to all the demigods, such as Brahma, Shiva, and the Prajapatis, who were all parts of the Lord. The progenitors. They all are part of his universal body, in a sense. I love this concept of progenitors. I know you do, but let's keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon you're going to start talking about giraffes and all this. Just giving keep birth to a baby giraffe. <laughs> Thereafter, along with Sukracharya and the other great saints, Lord, you know who I have a problem with understanding is Sukracharya? Let go of that resentment. No, it's not resentment. I have a problem understanding. He's like a great saint. He said, because right now it says, along with Sukracharya and other great saints. So Sukracharya is the guru of the demons. So I'm trying to think, is he a demon? Well, Here maybe it, he's maybe it means saint. Sukracharya. Well, because Prabhupada wrote, and other great saints. It sounds like he is one of the great saints. And I suppose on one level he is. What maybe, does it say for maybe, saints? Uh, the Muni, it really says Munis. Maybe uh, our Finnish professor knows an answer to that. Yeah, maybe, we put, maybe we get the professor. Put him, put him, put him on the board, or you know. But it says it doesn't even mention. It says Kavya Adhibi for Sukracharya. You want to unmute him, uh, Sargrahi's husband, and see if he knows anything about Brigupad Prabhu. Brigupad, we have a I mean, Vedic. He wasn't professor. ready for this. Yesterday he, he he was doing his asana and had no shirt on when we pulled him in. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> he's a professor. We look the same. He's a professor. I look no, like I could be in the Charlie Daniels band. I was going to say, you don't look the same. Well, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's the kind of person, if you took like 100 random people and put him in the mix and said, which there one's the is. professor? Is, right Everyone here. would say, He's the professor. There he is. He's right here. Okay. Unmute. I'm unmuting. Yes, okay. Brigopati. Brigopad. Brigopad. Harry Ball. Welcome Brigopad. to Wisdom of the City. Hey, by the way, he's going to be our guest on Saturday interview oh, great yeah Am I here we'll talk somewhere? about guru he wrote a brilliant book on what is a guru in gaudiya vaishnavism we're going to talk about that really okay uh Brig brigapod what do you do you know anything about sukracharya no not really <laughs> you know what that's why i like i not like my an field honest of study. man just say no i don't know anything he's the only remember the ones Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing you Saturday. <laughs> looking forward to being on the show. Okay, great. <laughs> you know what? It, I think it. I have more respect for people who say, I don't know. I know. And a right? person like, oh, it? I know he does this, this, and this. <laughs> it's like if you ask a person for directions and they don't know the direction, that they're still trying to give you directions. Some places are like that. Like in India, they don't want to disappoint you so they just tell you something they think it's worse to, to not tell nothing. you anything no it's worse to tell you the wrong information yeah i i so much respect people said nope don't know <laughs> okay thank you all right you know so, what we're going to listen to that as we drive down to new york city okay because you're doing the interview right uh yes that's right so? now we're not going to get to the main verse if we don't move along here right Maybe we got to save it for tomorrow. Moving on. Let's, let's, we can read. Maybe we don't get there today. But it's about it's tied into Therefore, the Therefore, along with Sukracharya and other great saints, Lord Brahma, whose seat is on the lotus flower, made Prahlad the king of all the demons and giants, giants. in the universe. <laughs> he meant by giants. <laughs> I dream of giants sometimes. Giants? Yeah. like Danavanam. The Donovas. The, the Donovas are the giants. Giants are real. That's a whole interesting study, the study of giants. Keep anyway, oh, King Yudhisthira, let's keep we'll, moving. <laughs> oh, King Yudhisthira. I never knew the Donovas were giants. Now you know. Now I got some Vedic backing of the study when they discovered giant skulls. Oh, King Yudhisthira, after all, the demigods headed by Lord Brahma were properly worshipped by Prahlad Maharaj. Oh, interesting. Oh, the demigods were worshipped. That's what the last verse just said, Raghunath. Headed by Lord Brahma, were properly worshipped by Prahlad. They offered Prahlad their utmost benedictions and then 
return to their respective abodes. So Prahlad's worshiping them and they worship him back. Yeah, now this verse, Raghunath, this text 35, big one. Yeah, it's, I would call it a big one. Um, okay. It's got a message, big message. Okay, ready? Thus, the two associates of Lord Vishnu, who had become Harksha and Hranyakashipu, the sons of Didi, that's, she's the mother of the demons, were both killed. By illusion, they had thought that the Supreme Lord, who is situated in everyone's heart, was their enemy. So this is Jai and Vijay. They both died. It's sort of like zooming out a little bit. Yeah. You know, Jai and Vijay, the, they were cursed to take birth as demons. They became Haranyaksha and Haranyakashipu. And now we had one that was already killed. And in this story, Haranyakashipu was killed. Thus, they had both been killed by Lord Vishnu because they thought that God, who is in everyone's heart, was actually their enemy. That's the big illusion that mm. we have enemies in this world. Well, Actually, yeah. we have so much in common. Commonality. With our greatest enemy, huh? Y you know, um, it was two chapters back that Prahlad delivered this verse, which was just such an important one. Do you remember this, Raghunath? And hey, this is an easy way to remember this verse. Tell me. 789. Canto oh. 7, <laughs> chapter 8, seven, eight text nine. 9. 789. Maybe that's your homework, everybody. Read 789 today. Well, I'm going to read it right now. Okay. My dear father, Prahlad speaking to Hiranyakashipu. Okay. My dear father, please give up your demoniac mentality. Yep. Let it go. Do not discriminate in your heart between enemies and friends. Make your mind equipoised towards everyone. Mm -hmm. Except for the uncontrolled and misguided mind, there is no enemy within this world. When one sees everyone on this platform of equality, one then comes to the position of worshiping the Lord perfectly. That's 789. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Let, let go, the, the, all these problems, all these problems with people in the world, all this, it's just going on here in my mind, right? That's something that I have control. I can't control all these people, but mm -hmm. I can learn to control my mind. And that's where the focus, and when you act, and then like as Martin Luther King was going to say, you know, in order to love your enemies, you must begin by analyzing yourself. Go within. Look, on, look at, what's, look at the, the, the patterns and the loops in your own mind. Deal with those. And then you're going to realize, I don't have an enemy, right? That this, this entire universe is actually working for my progress in spiritual life. Let me relate to every living being like that, even if they're hostile. I don't see them as an people enemy. With different, even within different religions, this is why I needed Vedic culture, which is as a very broad gate to understanding spirituality. Broad. You know? Yeah, broad, a wide gate. We understand, everybody's on a spiritual path. And we have to be also careful, even within Sanatana Dharma, that we don't become fanatics as well. You know, because you could pull that, you could, you could, you could go there. No doubt. As well. No, this is spirituality as opposed to religion, right? It has to do with introspection, really looking at oneself, really looking at one's mind, trying to, trying to, as you were just saying, right? There's a commonality that we have with everyone. Trying to relate on the level, the commonality, kind of um designating the differences, which are all material and external, designating them as secondary or thirdary, you know, like like not so important and elevating uh, the primary consideration, which is spirit. And on that level, we, we're all connected. On that level, we're all similar. You know, I've been thinking about this, Raghunath, you know, going this internal growth and all of that. You with me? Stay, yeah. I'm, stay with me here. I'm thinking One deep. Second. I'm thinking okay. Deep. Because I think as neophyte yogis, we, we like to, you know, we hear this message and we think, oh, this is a nice message. God is in my heart wherever I go, right? But even though we, we accept that in theory, what we feel is, yes, theoretically God is in my heart, but primarily my awareness is caught up in living with everybody in this world. And I like some and I don't like some and some cause anxiety and some cause pleasure. And so, yes, God's in my heart, but my, my consciousness, my awareness is absorbed in these people mm -hmm. and really where we need to get 
what we need to feel is that all of these people are here, but primarily I'm always living with God in my heart. Like that's who I'm, that's, you understand? Like that's my first, it's on that level that, that my mind is operating on primarily. Right. And, and therefore my, my relations with all the people of this world, that's the secondary consideration. But when that first consideration is in place, then I'm able to relate and understand how to relate right. with all bring, these other people on a completely spiritual level, which transforms everything. Kostuba, bringing us back to the nugget. Very good. Oh, thank you. That was very good. Thank you know, you. Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, and I'll, I'll, I'll quote Bhakti Vinod Thakur and, okay. and, and, and just, and um, I usually quote, I usually quote Whenever you're without, ready. without giving him credit and I take the credit for it. But okay. he said, you know, we should be able to go into a synagogue, a mosque, a church, an ashram, and see, oh, how nice people are worshiping my Lord. In a different way. Right? They just worship in a different way, at a different, uh, different rituals, different customs. But the idea is I'm trying to connect with source. Miss mm -hmm. Mara, it is time for takeaways. I would have been a good UFC announcer. And, yeah, and or in this corner. Or an auctioneer. Well, hey, what, what do you have to do? You reach up like this, and then you pull the microphone down. Yeah. It's oh. time to rumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Criticizing devotees is the worst thing you can do for your spiritual life. There it's the worst. Raghunath. How are you doing? Focus on an attitude of gratitude to open your heart. Attitude of gratitude. That's what Never we can really work with, you know, practically. Attitude mm, of gratitude. Yeah. Leave murders and psychopaths for the professionals. <laughs> Leave it to the pros. <laughs> <laughs> and serial killers. And serial killers. And this was children. serial killers. Women that kill. Children that kill. <laughs> like people are obsessed with serial killers. No, pe people, I'm not obsessed. I never, never. I, never, I have in the past, but I, I, I think the number yeah. one podcast from the past, like the podcast that really made podcasting blow up were these like true, true crime, crime things. True crime. Oh my God. Murders. They're so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in anxiety about the ones I've heard. <laughs> it, it just makes you think like, God, everyone kills. Everyone's, why aren't I killing him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, back to our takeaways. Yeah, keep him away from those things, man. Keep him. I know, away. I try. You gotta take oh, no, his phone Greg away. DeGase has got the same birthday as Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Greg. How much will we let the hurt of the past hurt our future? How mm. much? How far will it go? How, when are we going to say, you know what? It's over. The past is done. Come on, people. Done. 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 Finished. Decide. Choose. <laughs> The ABCs of spiritual life, uproot, resentment, and anger. Imagine okay. seeing Jeffrey Dahmer's astrological chart. I don't want to, Raghunath. You see, you're getting caught up right now. You're, you're going it's down that path. Slope. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> I blame Greg DeGase for posting that on the board. That's why you can't <laughs> look at the board, Raghunath. <laughs> it's so attractive. <laughs> <laughs> it's an illusion to think we have enemies in this world. That's so Only weird. the mind. Just the mind. Yeah. No. We can't control other people, but we can control our mind. There we yeah. go. What we Same. put what we put into our mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what social media platforms we choose, we choose to absorb to in. in. And, and giants are real. Giants are real. I didn't say it. The Bhagavatam does. Donna Vance. You ever see like we discovered this gigantic skull in Israel or something like that? It's awesome. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to this. Show. Yeah, what, someone put on the board like, uh, oh, ne, 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 Falam, ne Falam from the Bible. We're giants, Dr. Bob says. Thank you, Dr. Bob. Anyway, thanks so, for joining uh, the show, everybody. If you want to join us the show on Zoom, you can do that. We just hang out here and we look at each other talk, and sometimes we have a after the show hangout session. You know, I think um, that's, I think we're grandfathering everybody that's already in, in but I think that's going to become a special privilege for. Uh, Circles. Oh, really? Okay, so if you're not in, you better get in under the under the fence right now. Or just go to Wisdom. Or just go to. Or just become a supporting member. Support what we do. Come on! I, you know what? Brother, Even a cup of tea or coffee at Starbucks now is over five bucks. I, I sense you resent that. 
No, I'm just saying. Forgive. The dollar's worth less. A coffee costs more. We're going to walk into Starbucks today and say, to If you I listen to us you. at least three days a week, aren't we worth more than a cup of coffee? Not three days a week. Three days a month. Even religion, three times a month. Let it go. Anyway. Anyway. I, I, I'm detached, but I'm completely attached as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to walk into Starbucks today and say, walk up to the barista and say, I forgive you. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. Luckily, there's no Starbucks within like 30 miles. Of Isn't it amazing? We don't live like anywhere near any Starbucks. No, there's no like real That's stores crazy. around us. It's so nice not to see malls wherever we go. I, I, I could swing this squirrel and hit a couple Starbucks. <laughs> You could just throw it and it'll hit one in every corner. Oh. Friday. Oh. And I want to thank uh, Jai Shri Chirillo for being on the show today and Kavacha Designs. If you if you like nice jewelry and things made with good quality, and some people don't. Some people like really Heirloom quality, quality right now. Heirloom. What does heirloom mean? Uh, it's gonna, we're going to pass it down. What's an heirloom seed then? Uh, it was passed down to you. Heirloom quality covetous. If you're looking for an heirloom quality covetous, you got to the right place and the right lady. Mine is from, mine is from oh, look, Michelle. What's going on? Get your, get your neck up to the camera. Elmira's oh, wearing one. That's yeah, the style. Okay. People are going. I, is that the people used to do that? We wear it straight down. That's a that's, that's a, a covetous design. That's a covetous design thing. Straight that's down. a new thing. He's innovative. I have one too. I don't wear it all the time because I've got too many things going on and I, I have to re-thread it on my beads, but I've got a great, beautiful one that I'm waiting to, when I get back to India, they're gonna re-thread these and put it in. I like the armor. I need all the armor I can get. 